You guys, Vine's dead. I just had interviews with People's Magazine, Washington Post, New York Times. Everybody's freaking out right now because they just announced that Vine, the app that has the six second videos, is now done. So there's no longer going to be any more Vine and that's where I started to gain popularity on the internet was doing six second videos and like comedy videos and same with like a bunch of my friends and now we do YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and movies and television so it was a great starting point for all of us. It was great, it was an awesome app and it's just so crazy it's done now but I think it was kind of inevitable with Instagram getting video so yeah. Now that it's done. I need to go shoot another Instagram video for you guys. And it's great because I feel like a lot of the audience and the loyal fans that stuck with me from the beginning of Vine, like I love you guys so much and the fact that you're with me now on YouTube or on Instagram, like we're gonna grow even more and it doesn't matter which platform it's on, no matter what, we're here and we're doing it. I love you guys. Like. I think I have an interview with TMZ when I walk outside. It's crazy how like big of a news story this is, but it makes sense because it was what made all of us, you know, gave us all a platform and we're able to share our content and our creativity with you guys. So love you and thank you Vine for everything. But now that you're gone, rest in peace. Logan, what's happening? So I'm going around uh, asking all of our friends what they think about the collapse of Vine. Accordingly, Amanda Cerny was on that list. <laughs> so is that why you're wearing your special jacket today? Yeah, you know, I became a reporter for the day. Everyone knows mm -hmm. reporters wear sexy this outfits. This is life after Vine, guys. This Logan is, is now a reporter. Uh, what, so. else, what else can I do? <laughs> it's not like I have nope. talent like, outside of that. That's, so like, that's it. You just ask questions. That's I'm, all you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm screwed. So, yeah. But I'll take it. I'll take, I'll yeah. take whatever I can get. I'll hire you for uh, at this point. stuff. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, I got you. Man. I got you. Yo, this lighting is great. Yeah, right here. It's great right. for this the complexion, especially as pale people. Yes, we're yeah, okay. let's go. We're good to go. Hey, let's shoot our interview this way. I'm down. I'm talk. I'm gonna go up and talk to her, and then I go up and talk. <laughs> oh crap! I'm spoiling the idea. I'll be. Um, he'll be like, "Hey, go go talk to her, or whatever." And I'll mm -hmm. go up. I'll talk to you, and then um, to me, and then I'll like be super super awkward. Like I'm like crazy awkward mm -hmm. to the point where like you feel the need to tell like a... A friend about like how a, awkward you are? Well, like a cop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so you're like creepy awkward. Yes, okay. yeah, yeah. After I have a conversation with you, I leave or whatever, and, I'm, and he's like, how'd you, how'd you do whatever? She totally likes me or whatever, all that yeah. stuff. And then you go, that's him right there. Or that's the creepy <laughs> awkward guy. And like the guy in a police like, outfit or whatever comes and like, yeah, pulls me away or something that's like funny. that. That's funny. Who's gonna be the cop? I'll express Logan! It What's up, baby? If you can't tell, I'm vlogging you. Um, Vlog me, bro! Um, what are you doing right now? You want to be in a quick video with me and Brent? Yeah? Uh, can you be a cop? Yeah? It's quick? <laughs> it's quick. It's really quick. I'll quick. It's, I'll come over. Alright, bye. Bye! Bye! Adios. We got a cop! Yay! Woo! Woo! Celebration! Alright, All right, well, so tell me how bye. you feel about Vine dying. Well, I was sad, mm -hmm. but at the same time I was kind of happy. Yes. I'll tell you why. Obviously, I start I stopped making vines like over a year ago, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like that. Like it affected me like that, but it just I kind of just felt like a part of me like went on and just just is gone now. Cause like you know I started off. It's on like vines. you left the nest. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, <laughs> everyone has to start somewhere, and it's just sad to see that that starting point. You know, kind of just yeah. Die. <laughs> yeah, completely. But, it's dead now. <laughs> but you know, things yeah. happen. We live on. Like the Titanic. Jack sunk and we're a rose. Oh, wow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out how to hang these things up right now. I don't know if you. So I have these guys. Caution. The installation should be only undertaken by qualified personnel. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really say that? Yeah, and high voltage, danger of electric shock. Oh, that's why I freaking it's shocked funny. me back there. <laughs> well, have fun, you guys. Let me know how it goes. Um, we'll be vlogging in case anything happens. So, yep. In terms of the new format, it's happening at your floor. I'm going to crawl to you because I don't want to push you. We're trying to put up the yeah. sign here. It's not really working out. <clears throat> yeah, we need someone qualified. What we need of? a qualified... Do you know uh, anything about signs, Greg? Yeah. No, the, What's you, your sign? 
Put about the Aries. <laughs> I think I'm a uh, Aphrodite. Scorpio man. <laughs> I think I'm an Aphrodite. No, I mean Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm an Aphrodite. <laughs> That's a goddess. I mean, uh, Capricorn. That's okay, Brent. Yeah. I'll edit all that out. Sweet okay, million. So progress level is yeah. zero right now, but you know, it's the well, effort that goes. According to my calculations. According to my calculations. According to the. Let's call the geek squad. According to my uh, glasses, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Maybe if we all put our glasses on, we can do it. Alright, so this probably mm. attaches to the first one by my calculation. <laughs> so this probably goes in that first one, and then this. <gasps> we got it! One connects to. Like oh, that one, ones? and then this one yeah. connects to the bottom the one. The confibulator connects to the amphibulator. Yeah, and then the defibrillator. And the combobulator connects to, to the... To the gajagabomulator. The ba ba da da and we still didn't figure it out. The glasses didn't work. Nope. I seriously think this is this is how this works. Oh, it says caution, high voltage, and oh, good. it should be done by professionals. Those are tubes. For what? So you don't electrocute yourself? Oh, that's good. But I assume this is like one of no like it's like this is a single wire. And the moment of truth. Yeah, wait, hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're ready. You're ready. Come here. Mine, are All right. Here? So we got a problem here. Not a problem. Hit the switch. Oh my god. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, it's That's dope! Oh! At Amanda Cerny. Damn. What? I wish it was like a tan. Why don't you hang it on the wall? Why would you want tan neon lights? There's no such thing. They don't exist. Fine, Greg. What's up, bro? 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 So what we're gonna do here... Drilling holes. <laughs> and then the person next door. Like, yeah. <laughs> this one. Oh, that one's simple. Can I get another stud? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's talking yeah. about you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twice a week, so it is. I need an auxiliary cord in my uh, in my iPhone 7. Can you uh, drill a hole? <laughs> yeah, Someone just drill a hole on that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Let me get too tight at first so we can see. Google it. All right, there's our first clip. Woo! She said that Brittany was gonna be here in like, uh, like now, um, but I think she's planning this, uh, this ploy. Is that is that what it's called? Yeah. For us to stay so we can help her with the sign. <laughs> I am so excited for this sign to be done. Me too. It's gonna look so good. I think. I want one. I want one, but I, I don't. I don't want to do the work. So. You have to get a qualified personnel. I'm gonna have to get a qualified person. Yeah. Like Apparently knows. Amanda's qualified, so I'm gonna have her come over to my house and install mine as well. I think I can hang my own mirror up this. <laughs> oh, that big one right there? Yeah. Dang, that thing's huge. Oh, okay. What happened, Amanda? You broke another nail! Oh no. My mom screams at me when she breaks nails. All day. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it for this sign. Plug that baby in. Ooh. Oh woo! <laughs> Let me see if I can. Realize <laughs> 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 that. Yeah. And it. We meant to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we accomplished something great today, guys. Good work. Awesome. Good work, everyone. High fives. That's how you do it. Boom. Oh, I thought we were doing like a tri okay. like a three-way high five. There. Boom. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. His name is Maximo Cucho. Oh. He's got his own name and last name because he's that swag. Look how tiny. <gasps> hey, baby. It's okay. Get us a bobby do. Get us a bobby Just like mommy. Like, There's a bunch of people here. Hey, here. Nice to meet you. Oh. oh. Shake. No way. <laughs> he's too much. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to me and dad. It's okay. He's like, no, I just, I'm going to pick you up whether you like Take it or not. Boop. And then I get peed on. He loves to make out with girls and <laughs> lick noses. <laughs> watch Brittany's okay. reaction right now. Okay. Watch, hi, watch. This is going to be crazy. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brittany. Hi, babe. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It's a beauty. I knew it. It's your shot. It's two weeks. He's Good. called Maximo Cucho. Maximo Cucho! <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, I'm not going to ever get it. <laughs> Alright, well, good luck getting your dog back, Patricia. 
she's so cutie. We have a problem. She's so know, good luck oh getting gosh. that back. Ooh, that's a pretty filter. Right? Giving <laughs> <laughs> back. Don't be scared. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. Oh, you love me. Oh, you love me. Oh, you love me. You love me. Oh. So somebody's not potty trained. What are the odds? <laughs> of having a puppy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My whole life's covered in here. You probably it. love this. You probably want to sniff it. I like it. <laughs> now he's all proud of it. He's like, look guys, everybody's paying attention to what I did. We're filming a video. I'm waiting for my turn. I'm the babysitter. <laughs> and the dog just escapes and nobody notices. Get it together. <laughs> so this is what happens when you have a new puppy come over your house. There's pee spots and poop spots everywhere and this is like a good reminder of me why I cannot have a dog right now because I am too busy and I want a big dog so those piles would be even bigger. So as you guys may or may not know, Vine is done, meaning they're deleting the app and maybe the content will live online, but they're deleting the application, meaning there will be no longer any profiles on Vine. I wish they told us, they didn't tell us in advance like all the large accounts we found out today this morning along with everybody else. And it's kind of like a bittersweet thing, I mean, I grew on Vine on social media with my friends like Batch and Brittany Furlon and you know we all helped each other grow and now it's gone. And the best thing is that the people on Vine also followed us on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and everywhere else so it's not like we're losing our loyal fans that have been with us since day one because that would be horrible. I'd be like crying right now if I lost like everybody that ever supported me and I'd be so freaking sad but I feel like the true fans stuck with me through it all so I'm happy to have you guys and I love you guys so much and all of your support it means the world to me but Vine being gone I think it was on its deathbed for a while <laughs> the engagement started going down I think the last time I post was in June and it was like a repost from Instagram so we saw the engagement going down and we kind of moved to other platforms and yeah, so rest in peace, Vine. It was fun while it lasted. Memories forever. I feel like Vine was kind of like the groundlings for, I don't know, us as influencers. Like we all came up with as a group together and as a group we built our ourselves on different platforms and now we're doing a bunch of cool stuff for you and it's only gonna grow even more. So I'm excited to do this with you guys with or without Vine, but we'll always appreciate it because it did give us a platform. Love it, love you. Now to go on with the day. Who could it be? Ah, costume time! I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Hello, hello. Hey girl. How are you? I lit incense and I'm cleaning up Ooh. dog pee right now. My friend bought her puppy over. When Patricia tried to flush all the puppy pee paper towels down the toilet, it clogged my toilet. And I don't have a plunger because this never happens. So I'm going to Curtis's and gonna go in and seal his plunger. No! Nobody's home. It is a mess in here. Curtis, I'm gonna get you a house, lady. Okay, where's the plunger? Okay, I found it. I don't even know, want to know what this plunger has been through. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Success! Alright, just tried on the costume and you guys have to guess what I'm going to be. The hint is... This is a big hint. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> People in. Like, look, she made this for me last year. She's am amazing. Best costume designer ever. What, what would you, just designer in general? Designer. They can buy my ready to wear fashion on my Etsy page. Ooh, what is that? Elhofferdesign.com. All right. There it is. Elhoffer Design. I uh, thank you. A year. <laughs> so we're eating cereal and writing a script. I'm a doctor. <laughs> and he's dressed as a doctor. I haven't eaten cereal in so long. These are like Cheerios, but they're they're very like... Healthy-os. Yeah, they're also very like, um, 
round. They're just diverse, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Multicultural uh, Very Cheerios. Multi <laughs> you've got the white yeah. ones, you've got the darker, you've got the... And lighter, lighter, dark. Shades. Yep. I wish I was that shade. All right, Greg, you're on your own. <laughs> I gotta go to the gym. Gotta do my Cerny Challenge, day three out of 30. What happens in the Cerny Challenge? Tell me more. Well, in the Cerny Challenge, you go to the gym for 30 days straight and you don't miss a day. And if you miss a day, something happens. Do you drink lots of water during your challenge? Now I do. By golly, Miss Molly, I do. Sure do. Thanks to Greg, Nurse Greg Furman. <laughs> I'm a doctor! <laughs> Dr. Greg Furman explained to me how I need to drink more water and he's going to make sure of it every day. So for now, for the rest of the vlogs, Greg is the water boy. <laughs> now, for the rest of my life, Greg's gonna make sure of <laughs> Goodbye. Good. Oh, the, the plunger's still there. I have to return this to Curtis's, but not right now. Later. Time. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is good. <laughs> Wait, handshake. All right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah. Next we need time to work we on that. <laughs> Woo! Good morning. Going to get food after dancing around my apartment for like 20 minutes, of course. Groceries. Isn't that so cool? You can order groceries now. Um, all right, so what I'm doing today, ooh, I got the most random stuff in the store. I'm happy they got them all. These better be raw. Man, I don't think these are raw. She never said. So, first things first. Oh, I should probably tell you what we're making today. We are making raw vegan carrot cake. And I'm making it as a birthday cake for my vegan friend. I have just been cooking up a storm today. We need four large carrots and then we're gonna put it in the food processor. This is my favorite dessert. This one. Another one. Okay, and another one. What I learned from my mom's ex-Brazilian boyfriend when I was younger, <laughs> I learned that a true chef always cleans up after his or herself. And I was like, I'm a true chef, I'm gonna clean up after his or myself. That's what we do. Already cleaned up the carrot shavings, my boy. Wash, 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 wash the hands. I was just looking at the notes of my carrot cake recipe and I guess the last time I cooked it and I came up with this recipe was on August 5th, 2014. That's so long ago. This is a two year old recipe. Very nice, very nice. Let's bring it back. Okay, so four large shredded carrots. We gotta shred these carrots. We're gonna do five, cause I like carrots. So we have a food processor. Okay, so I just 
decided that was a lot of carrots and I only did four and a half. Shredding shit is fun. We're done shredding so I can wash this like the chef chef I am. Next up, in food processor blend together walnuts and dates until crumbly. Add in rest of the ingredients, continue processing until you achieved an even consistency. Press mixture into a dish, creating a flat surface using your hands and place in fridge. Place all frosting ingredients into blender and blend until smooth. Pour over cake and freeze for two hours. And I make the cashew frosting in my Vitamix. And I made this recipe and I love it, it's so good. So, and then I have special toppings too. But I'll list all of the ingredients for you guys in uh, the video description as well. But this is basically it. Do, do, do. So we have four large shredded carrots, one cup raw walnuts, one cup golden raisins to place between cake layers, one and a half cups of pitted dates, ginger spice or pinky of fresh ginger, one TSP cinnamon, three fourths teaspoons nutmeg, one half cup shredded unsweetened coconut, slice of vanilla bean or one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And that's for just the cake. Now for the icing, it's two cups of soaked raw cashews, soaked overnight. I'm gonna soak it for like an hour and then use it because I don't have time for that. And dra drain and rinse in clean water. Two cups of raw young coconut water, one and a half cups of pitted dates, one tablespoon of raw fresh squeezed lemon juice, sprinkle of cinnamon, pinch of vanilla bean or vanilla extract, and a pinch of sea salt, and a half of an orange zest. I need my food processor now for other things, so I'm gonna put all these carrots in a bowl to save for blending later and with the cake mix. Now ladies, always put your hair up when you're cooking, otherwise you will for sure get your hairs in the food. And now we're gonna exchange this little piece for this piece. It's grand time. One and a half cups of pitted dates. We need more dates. And let's grind this up. Oh my god. It's like magic. Look at that. Got to soak the cashews. And now we add everything else. So, I'm going to put the carrots back in. Our shredded carrots. Fresh ginger. And we need a pinky of this, so. I'd say a pinky's like. That's like a thumb. Save this for using it never. Cinnamon. To the cabinet. All right, we need cinnamon. Ooh, nutmeg. So I have to have three fourths teaspoons of nutmeg. Nutmeg makes this, you guys need the nutmeg. So much easier to get ground nutmeg. I used to try to grind it on my own. Ooh, do not have that much time on my hands and I don't think you do either, so. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a cup of shredded unsweetened coconut. Give it that texture and that yummy coconutty flavor. By the way, I stayed home from going to the Halloween party tonight so I could just make my friend a birthday cake. Friendship goals. Vanilla bean. Slice of the vanilla bean. This, my friends, is the vanilla bean. Let's get a little slice of this. All right, and this is all of the ingredients for the cake mix. Watch the magic of the food processor. And action! I think I gotta mix it. Now what you need is one of these bad boys. The top d disconnects from the bottom, so after you freeze it, all you do is peel this off and you have your cake. But let's fill it up with the cake. Fill this up, the cake mix. Yum, 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 yum. So that's pretty even. Okay, and we'll put this in the fridge or the freezer while I prepare the icing. And now for the frosting, we need two cups coconut water, soaked cashews, two cups of them, one and a half cups of pitted dates, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and a sprinkle of cinnamon, a pinch of vanilla bean, half a zest of orange, and a pinch of sea salt. California IA. I forgot to put the golden raisins in the dough. Key ingredient, people. Just push them in there. There you go, that's one way to do it. All right, icing is done. Just gonna scoop all of this into the bowl and put it in the freezer. And then once the cake is frozen and the icing's frozen, 
gonna ice the cake. And the goal of this whole cake is for it to be cold. The cold cake, it makes it taste way better, trust me. All right. Cool. I have to expedite the process because it's my friend's birthday at midnight. So I have to freeze the icing and the cake together. Perfect. And I'm going to plate it on this. I love the way this looks. It looks very like all natural to me. So now I'm gonna ice it. It's easier when the icing's frozen and not warm because the icing kind of falls everywhere when it's warm. That looks good. Okay, cool. And then after that, we're gonna top it with some stuff. I love pistachios. Oh yeah, that looks good. You know what would be horrible? If my friend was like allergic to nuts. And I'm like, here you go. <laughs> Happy vegan cake. Some orange zest. Can't find my zester, so the knife will have to do. It's better when you have a zester, because this is super dangerous. A lot of love goes into this. Do some raisins on top. Some golden raisins. And last but not least, we'll do some edible flowers. That's right, people. They sell these. Uh, these flowers are actually roses. And voila, there is our cake. This kitchen's a mess. No, it's not. We all know a true chef cleans up after his or herself. I'm like a proud mom right now. It's a good looking vegan raw carrot cake. Every day before I decide to go to the gym and I wanna like snack and just be lazy, I turn on music. And that changes everything. Changes your mood, it makes you wanna work out. I wanna go to the beach. Ah. Please, I'm going there really soon. Break? Huh? No, no break. This is fucked. <sighs> I can't get up. End of the workout. Everybody wish this guy a happy birthday. Not yet, we have one hour. By the time I post this, it'll be your birthday. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Handshake. <laughs> we nailed it. Today we nailed it. Yeah, then so excited. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, mein Thank you. My mom just called me, wished me happy birthday. Oh, good, because I had no idea what she just said. <laughs> I'm like, did she just swear at you? I think we need to motivate each other. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is send me a video whenever you guys go to the gym saying your most inspirational gym quote or life quote or whatever and yelling Cerny Challenge at the end. Take these video clips anywhere from like two to 10 seconds. Send me them to cernychallenge at gmail.com and I will find them and I will put them in my vlogs. So make them motivational because I'm gonna share it with the world. Love you guys so much and thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit it with a thumbs up if you like this vlog, subscribe, turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye my loves. Goodbye, Jim. It's been fun not. <laughs>